Hey everybody, Kevin Anson here with thevideocourse.com. I'm gonna show you in this very short tutorial how to update to Adobe Creative Cloud 2017 without removing your old version of Creative Cloud, which would effectively be 2015.5. Because you see, what's gonna happen if you update to Adobe Creative Cloud 2017 right now, you are going to overwrite your older versions of the software, so you'll only be able to use Adobe Creative Cloud 2017 from here on out, and that's not what you want. If you haven't updated to the new CC yet, I don't blame you whatsoever, and you're smart, but I'm gonna show you how to update your CC so you can start playing around with it and still keep your older 2015.5 version of the software. And a huge thank you to Stan Arthur for pointing this out. You can subscribe to his channel right here. Roll the intro, please. One, two, three, listen. And welcome back. All right, so I myself have not updated to the new Creative Cloud 2017 either, so I'm doing this live with you guys right now. What you're gonna wanna do is click on the Adobe Creative Cloud button here at the top if you have one or however you get into your Adobe Creative Cloud settings. And you're gonna click on the Apps tab and go to Update All and click on that button. Now your computer might ask you for a password, go ahead and enter that. And before you click update, you do not want to hit that button right now. You want to hit advanced options. And see this checkbox right here? Remove old versions. You're going to want to uncheck that because you do not want to remove old versions. Or maybe you do, but that's your call in this tutorial. And for my purposes, I am not going to remove old versions because I still have projects that I want to open up in those older versions of Premiere just in case things don't go well with the new software. I don't wanna be on the hook for some project that's getting all kinds of bugs and won't open anymore, so I wanna keep the older versions of Premiere and After Effects and Illustrator and Photoshop, all those programs that I use all the time on a daily basis, I wanna make sure that those are still intact, those projects open well, and I can still rely on the fact that I'm gonna be able to jump in there and make changes and keep my clients happy. Here we go, we're gonna hit update, so we're not gonna remove old versions. So of course, this is gonna take a while, so I'll let this do its thing and I'll check back with you guys in a little bit. All right, so we're still updating right now, but I just wanted to point something out. As you can see, Adobe Photoshop has already installed. So you can see it has two folders now, one for the old version, 2015.5, and this is the newer version now, so it's not overriding the older version. If you would have left that box checked, you would have effectively overwritten this version and you would only have the new 2017 version of Adobe Photoshop. All right, and it looks like our update is finished. It didn't take nine days, but it did take a couple hours. Hopefully this short tutorial helped someone out there. If it did, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial as always. I really appreciate it. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you guys on the next one.